Lee has worked in leadership roles for over 20 years. She has been a well-recognized expert in the field of emotional intelligence for the past 12 years. She has presented at conferences throughout North America and around the world to peers earning her the moniker Emotional Intelligence in Action. My husband Rick and I had gone out for dinner with a good friend of ours, Keith. Now Keith was also a client, really conservative. Like he looked like Mr. Rogers. Actually, he looked like Mr. Rogers' accountant. Well, and so when we were coming back, we passed a fair and there was a bungee jumping display. And he turned to us and said, what kind of idiots would go bungee jumping? And without looking at each other, Rick and I said in unison, we would. Well, Keith turned to us and said, yeah, right. I bet you a hundred bucks in dinner that there's no way you would do that. So he was on. We arranged a time when we could go. And we went to the fair and we joined this really, really long lineup of people that went on forever. But it actually moved pretty quickly because people looked at the height of the bungee jump and they dropped out. <laughs> and so we were moving quickly. Now, I do what I always do when I'm nervous, which is I, I chat. So I was talking to the girl in front of us who was an exotic dancer. And as we moved up and we're talking, it was her turn. Well, she turned to me and said, well, if you can do it. Yeah. Now, I admit I don't look like I'm really daring. And I didn't tell her that I'd done things before. So I watched her as she went and she got the cuffs on and she went up in the cage 120 feet and she jumped and passed out stone cold. Stone cold, and they had to carry her off. <laughs> passed out. Now, and then it was Rick's turn. So I watched as the love of my life, and the father of my children, and actually the only one who knows how to do any programming on the computer, or anything <laughs> technical. <laughs> that was the scarier part. I watched him go up, and I knew he was okay because I could hear him scream all the way down. So I'm having a few second thoughts about this bungee jumping thing, and especially I wanted to know if I'd be safe. So I'm looking at the people who are working there, and I'm wondering if I can trust them. Well, there's this kid, a kid, boy, little boy, sitting on the ground, and he's cuffing us and putting these cuffs on. And if you know anything about bungee jumping, you have cuffs and they, they are attached to the cord before you jump. And I'm supposed to trust him with my life. He was like 12. <laughs> but I got into a conversation with him. And what he told me was this whole procedure that he went through in order to make sure everybody was safe. And one of the best things that he did was, at the start of the day, he made this commitment that he would jump himself. Now that's commitment. So I felt pretty good. He knew what he was doing. So then you have these little ankle things, and you have to hop like this into the cage. And there is another girl, again, 12, <laughs> Katie, pigtail. She looks like the girl in the Wendy's commercial. And she's operating the heavy machinery that takes us up 120 feet. And so I'm talking to her to see if, you know, if I can trust her. Well, I finally said, you know, and I'm white. I'm scared stiff. And I looked at her and I said, it's OK, Katie, I trust you. And, and she reached out and she put her hand on my shoulder and said, you know, that's great but it's more important that you trust yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't want to do this, there's no shame in coming down. A lot of people do. If you're okay with this, trust me, we've made sure you're safe. And so I had the decision to make. So you look down. It, 120 feet's a long way down. And I looked, and I moved to the edge, and I jumped. It was so cool. It was so cool. <laughs> and what I learned from that is that you have to trust yourself first. Now, there's a whole process that we can go through that I can show you all of the criteria for trust. But at the center of it is trusting yourself first.
I knew that they cared about me. They were consistent in all the work that they did. They were obviously very competent, even though they were like four. And they cared. They really did care. So what about you? Have you ever had those moments when you had to trust someone else so much that the cost to you was huge if they failed? You would figuratively splatter all over the place. Well, in order to trust, you have to be able to understand yourself and you have to be able to understand others. And that's a function of your emotional intelligence. One of her favorite engagements was speaking on board a cruise ship to captivated audiences. Come on, really? Where are they gonna go? Her dynamic delivery, humor, and warmth leave audiences with the inspiration to make positive changes and the strategies to make it happen. Fantastic, positive, and humorous session. I very much enjoyed Lee. It's been a pleasure and honor to work with you on the conference. Your spirit, enthusiasm, optimism, and warmth exemplifies emotional intelligence in action. Lee is a professional who takes unconditional pride in her work and her ability to deliver value.